Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to be making this simple little stamina sprint system. So if you run, you drain stamina, and we'll let it run all the way down to zero here. When it hits zero, you will stop sprinting. But yep. Zero, you stop sprinting, and then you start regenerating stamina. Also, if you don't hit zero, it'll still regenerate, so... Yep. That's what we're gonna be doing in this one, and, uh, yeah. Let's just get started. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hop over into our player, um... Player folder here. We're gonna go into our input. We're gonna go to our actions. We're gonna duplicate our jump here. We're gonna call this sprint. So, for this, we're basically just recreating uh the sprint tutorial that i made a few days ago so we're gonna create that sprint there then we're gonna go into our imc default we're gonna add sprint and then we're gonna set uh select the key value you want it to be we're gonna use left shift and then we're gonna hop over into our third person character here we're gonna go to our character movement and we're going to go and set our max walk speed to 250. And then instead of just making our uh, our code here, we'll just go ahead and add our um, sprint right here. And then we're going to make two functions. One's going to be called start sprinting. The other one's going to be called stop sprinting. And then we're going to create a variable called is sprinting. And that's going to be a boolean. So then we're going to go into our start sprinting function here. We're going to pull, uh, pull in our character movement. And we're going to set max walk speed to 500. And then we're going to pull in this boolean here, is sprinting. We're going to set it to true. And then we're just going to copy all of this. And then we're going to go into our stop sprinting function. We're going to paste that in there. <coughs> and then uh, we'll set our max walk speed to 250. Set that to false. We're going to go back, <coughs> back into our event graph. We're going to pull in our start sprinting. We're going to hook that to the started. And then we're going to pull in our stop sprinting. We're going to hook that to the completed. So now that should work. Just hop in real quick. Yep. So if you walk, you just walk. If you sprint, you sprint. If you let go, you stop sprinting. So yeah. There goes our sprinting. Put together there. <clears throat> But now we need to make our stamina system. So we're going to create uh, two variables. One's going to be called current stamina. We're going to make that a float. And then we're going to make another variable called max stamina. And that's also going to be a float. Uh, we're going to set the default values of both of these to 100. Current stamina 100, max stamina 100. <clears throat> Then we're going to come down here, find a clear space. We're going to right click and find a custom event. I'm going to make a custom event. We're going to call it drain stamina. And then we're going to pull in our current stamina. Get it. We're going to subtract. Uh, this will be just how much stamina you want to drain. We're going to set this to minus one. We're going to pull off of here. We're going to get a clamp float. And we're going to pull in our current stamina. We're going to set it. Uh, let me move this down a little bit. We're going to hook this up. So the minimum will be zero. And our maximum will be uh, our max stamina. So the clamp will just make sure that we don't go below zero. We don't, we don't want to have like negative five stamina. So that's, that's all this is going to do. So then, after we set our current stamina, we will we want to grab a branch and hook that up. And then we're going to grab in our current stamina. We're going to see if it's equal 
to zero. So we'll just leave that at zero. And if it is equal to zero, we're going to pull in our stop sprinting function and hook that up. And then we're going to grab another branch. Uh, you can click B to pull in a branch or you can just right click and, you know, find branch. Uh, we're going to hook that in. And we're going to see if uh, we're going to hook our is sprinting to the condition here. And if we are sprinting, we're going to get a delay. And we're going to just drain stamina. So it'll it'll loop. It'll just loop back to the beginning of this. So yeah. Then at the end here, we're just going to print string. Pull that up. And we'll hook our, hook our current stamina to the print string. So right now, this won't do anything. Because we aren't calling it when we sprint. So at the end here, we're going to drain stamina. And now that should work. So now if you go hop in, you play, uh, if you sprint, you'll see in the top left, we are draining stamina, but if you let go, we don't regenerate stamina. So if we start spending again, we start back at where we were. So that's not what we want. So we're going to need to regenerate our stamina. So let's hop back in. We're going to right click, make another custom event called Regen Stamina. And for this, we're just going to copy a bunch of this or all of this right here. We're going to copy and paste it down here because it's pretty similar. Not completely the same, but it's pretty similar. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to get rid of the subtract one and we're going to pull off our current stamina and add. Add one. And then we'll hook this into the value. And then uh, right here, let's delete uh, that. We're going to pull off. We're going to grab another equal. We're going to see if our current, current stamina is equal to our max stamina. And if it is, we don't want to do anything. So we want to get rid of the stop sprinting. And then right here, we don't want this to be true. So instead of if we are sprinting or if we're not sprinting, we want to pull this back into the false. So you can either just uh, alt click on this and it'll get rid of it. Or you can left control click and just move it down. Then we're going to pull this down and instead of draining the stamina, we want to regen the stamina. And we'll hook that in right there. And again, this won't work yet because we haven't called it up here. So right here, we're going to pull in our regen stamina. And hook that up. So now when we hop in, press play. If we sprint, we drain stamina. If we let go, we start to... Oh, hold on. Hold up. Oh, I forgot to hook up the branch here. That's my bad. So now, we'll try that again. So now, if we let go, we start to regenerate our stamina back. So yeah, sprinting, it'll go down. We'll let it go down to zero so you can see that it's you, you'll stop sprinting. Uh, you can obviously set this to be faster, but... I don't think stamina should drain super fast. So I'm almost down to zero. So now zero, you stop sprinting. You start to regenerate stamina. Now you can sprint again. If it hits zero again, you stop. So now all we need to do is make our widget. So that we can see that as a uh, you know stamina bar. So we're going to go to our content. We're going to right click and make a new folder. We're going to call this blueprints. Then we're going to go in there. We're going to go into new folder. 
and call this widgets. We'll hop in there. We're going to right click, go to user interface, widget blueprint, user widget. We're going to call this HUD underscore W. We're going to hop in there. We're going to go to the event graph first. We're going to delete the event tick and the pre construct. We're going to pull off of the construct and cast to third person character. And we'll pull off here, get player character. And then we're just going to pull off as third person character. We're going to promote to a variable and call that player ref. All right. So now we'll go back into the designer. Let's grab a canvas panel. We're going to pull this down here. We're going to grab a progress. Whoops. Not progress bar. We're going to grab a progress bar. Let's pull that down. We're going to move it over a little bit and down a little bit. And then we're going to increase the size X a bit here. Uh, and then we're going to go down to percent right here and increase that a little bit. We're going to go down to the fill color and opacity. Uh, get rid of the blue and increase the green. And I'm going to set the value to like 0.2. I don't really think progress bars... I don't, I don't like the way they look when they're super bright, so it's just kind of a preference thing. And then we're going to go to our percent here. We're going to go to the bind, and we're going to create binding. And we're going to pull this back and grab in our player ref. Then we're going to get current stamina. And then we're going to pull off the player ref again and get max stamina. And then we're going to divide these. Divide. Uh, hook that up. And then hook that back up. And that should work. Let's hop back in and see. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot. We forgot to add that to the viewport. So we're going to go up here off uh, begin play. We're going to make a sequence node so you can click S on your keyboard and click. We'll hook that up. Hook the zero to there and then off of the one, we're going to create widget. We're going to find our HUD widget here and then we will add to viewport like that. All right, now we should be able to see the progress bar. So yeah. Progress bar is there. You run, you start to drain stamina, the progress bar goes down. And we'll just wait till it goes all the way down to zero. And when it gets to zero, you stop sprinting, then you start to regenerate. Progress bar starts to go back up. And uh yeah, so yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy to do and uh yeah that's what we're gonna call it for this one if you like the video hit the like button if you're new around here definitely subscribe if you have any questions let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for any other tutorials you would like to see let me know those down in the comments as well and uh i'll see y'all in the next one peace out